be a f- All right, so it's Friday afternoon, and uh, I got a couple things just want to clear up with you guys. I want to talk to you guys about first point of business is uh, the audio quality. There are several concerns about the audio quality on the last vlog, and um, as for going things that I think I can improve moving forward, um, I think this uh, recording on my phone is just not going to cut it. But fret not, my boyos. Actually, as we speak in transit, I have a um, recorder coming in so uh at least on the go it won't sound like garbage quality and you won't get that um that luxurious pop every few seconds when i'm talking all right so that part is out of the way that's a good thing being changed what else we got in store huh feedback for the idea and the concept of a vlog kind of Oh thing has overall been very positive i'm really happy about that um i was expecting Various different kinds of um, reactions to it. Some people uh, not liking it ever. But actually, for the most part, it's been uh, overly positive. So I'm very grateful for that. And I think uh, this is something I'll continue. So on to other things, though. It is actually Friday morning. A uh, pretty busy day here. Big day for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! world. Um, day before Extreme Force. Sneak peek. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. Something to look forward to. But also outside the fact that that stuff's tomorrow. Um, today's actually Yu-Gi-Oh! day. Down at my college. Um, people meet up on Fridays. At the game center, to kind of just play some Yu-Gi-Oh. So, um, that's going to be in store for later today. Stay tuned for that. However, uh, for the moment, I'm going to finish eating uh, God's Gift to Earth Oreos. And then uh, I'm going to take you guys to the lab. We're going to talk about what we want to talk about today. So, uh, let's do that. Random anecdote. Um... Today, actually, while I was going out, I got lunch, and then I was going to just shoot some B-roll, kind of what you're seeing now. Uh, I actually bumped into a fan of the vlog. So, Will, if you're watching this, it's good to meet you, bud. Sorry you couldn't stay for Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight. But hey, uh, hopefully I can give you the experience anyways. Thanks for saying hi, I guess. Back to the B-roll. I want to talk about Inspector Border. What's up, my Nimrod? It's Gage coming back at you guys again with another dose of that fresh, never frozen Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I thank you so much for spending just a couple of minutes with me here today to talk about a children's card game we both mutually enjoy so fucking much. So with the Extreme Force sneak peek right around the corner, literally tomorrow, I thought I'd pick out one of my favorite cards from the set, and it might not be one that a lot of people are talking about, and that's actually Inspector Border, which is a level 4 machine light monster with the effect of cannot be normal summoned or special summoned while you control a monster. I'm gonna drag it right over here. Each turn, each player can only attempt to activate monster effects up to the number of monster card types, ritual, fusion, synchro, xyz, pendulum, and link on the field. So while it's a little bit of a mouthful, hopefully I can break it down for you guys to help you understand it. Amongst all the people talking about Hey Trunade and its ridiculous name change, uh, as well as, you know, Heavy Metal Felt Electrum being two of the most uh, prominent chase cards at the set, I think. I think this one is one that's getting swept under a little bit. Some people I see talk about it and they get kind of hyped about it, but for the most part, it's just kind of low key a a card. And while I don't think it might be the greatest card ever to boot, I do think it will be a good card at least at some point. I hope so. Inspector Border really kind of brings me back, it reminds me back of a simpler time in Yu-Gi-Oh, back when stun decks were actually a thing. Really the last actual just straight up stun deck I think we've seen is just Rock Stun, which is a deck that revolves around all those rock monsters that do things. Uh, they all have a whole bunch of 
stun aspects, which is neat, but that deck is no longer good. The game's just sped up to a point where stopping one prominent effect uh, is just not enough to hold a deck back from doing ridiculous things. Uh, kind of see it with even hand traps right now where the trend is to play through hand traps. So if you get ash blossomed or something, if your deck can play through that, still make some powerful plays, you're gonna be sitting pretty. Uh, but back in the day, Rock Stun used to be actually a pretty cool deck to play, but not really just Rock Stun, but there's a card that I think just embodies the term Stun, and that card uh, actually is a little card that a lot of people are fond of, and that is Thunder King Ryo. Thunder King Ryo, I don't exactly have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with it. The level 4, 1900 body, with the effect of you can't add cards from your deck to your hand, either player can't, and then also if a card was summoned, send it to the graveyard to send that card to the graveyard. This card was actually surprisingly enough on the forbidden and limited list. You might not think about it too much today because this card's just nobody plays it anymore, but it was at a time on the forbidden and limited list. Thunder King Ryle was released in Yu-Gi-Oh at a much simpler time in the game where that 1900 body actually mattered a whole bunch. That body was actually really powerful, but also um, I think really a lot of people kind of delegate a format to it. A lot of people would say that this format, or at least the sound of the format, uh, doesn't sound enjoyable in the slightest, and I kind of have to agree with that, but the format was actually, a lot of people say, um, Thunder King Ryo set five. Keep in mind, this is back when the first turn player actually had six cards, so we're looking way far back. Thunder King Ryo really set the standard for what stun cards should be and how powerful they should be to actually do something. Rock Stun really followed in their footsteps, having a whole bunch of individual really powerful cards, but really none of them stood up to the absolute brute force that was Thunder King Ryo. We had a card, we had a card I want to say rather recently called Lightning Rod Lord released, which a lot of people thought was going to be the successor to Thunder King Ryo. It would be a card, a stun card of the ages, and oh shit, it was awful. But I do actually think Inspector Border is a step in the right direction for stun cards. Inspector Border has a lot of things going for it that I really, really like about the card. Um, the first off, this card, it's pretty much just guaranteed to be a normal summon, but it actually is a normal summon that's rather impactful. Dare I say, it's just a monster that's a skill drain. The reason that's really neat is because when you drop Inspector Border as a normal summon, it starts with the base count of zero. Your opponent cannot even attempt to activate monster effects because you don't control any other types on the field. You don't control no rituals, no synchros, XYZ pendulums, or links. You just control an effect monster. Nothing. But not only that, but Inspector Border has a pretty big body to boast. A 2000, 2000 booty is nothing to laugh at. This guy actually is going to be difficult to get over. I talked about 1900 really being a turning point for um, Thunder King Ryo and making it one of the best stun cards in the game. But now we're looking at 100 more on top of that. While that might not seem like a lot, that is actually huge. There's not a lot of monsters, dare I say, there's no monsters that you can just slap on the board as a normal summon, make it 2000 and beat over Inspector Border. You're gonna have to work for that. And normally when I say work for that, you're gonna be activating multiple effects, whether it be monster or spell, to be able to put monsters on the board to beat over this guy. And even saying all that, you can't activate monster effects. So working to get over Inspector Border is going to just be that much harder. Maybe I am missing something. Maybe there is a really simple way to get around Inspector Border that I just don't see. But uh, since Inspector Border has a lot of things going for it, not only the huge body it sits upon, but it also just doesn't have any activating effects. So you can't like hand trap it with Ghost Ogre or something. Granted, you really couldn't in the first place because you can't activate monster effects if there is no Link, XYZ, Pendulums, etc. on the field. But Inspector Border seems to be a strong leap forward in the stun category of cards that we've been extremely lacking in lately. Lightning Rod Lord, I want to say, was really our last hurrah. Besides maybe the, actually the new rock stun dude, I think it's like... I don't know the name of it. Uh, something... Overload, Quirky Marrow Overload, I think it was. While that card was pretty good, it still wasn't enough to make Rock Stun as a deck uh, be decent, and that's really only the deck that you could play Quacky Marrow Overload in. Um, I do think Inspector Border, as just generic stun cards, is actually probably the best it gets. Not to stump on Thunder King Ryo's legacy or anything, but I do think this card might pave the way for new stun decks to be a thing. There's one deck that I've been looking at in particular, I'll post the picture here, but it's a pretty interesting deck list that involved Zodiac with it. Dryden's not at one anymore, uh, Dryden's not legal in the OCG. Uh, TCG actually has Barrage, and OCG doesn't, but this deck apparently 
did pretty well. So keep your eye out for Inspector Border because I think you'll see a lot of great things for it. But that being said, I'm gonna take you guys to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Night for a little bit here. Uh, I don't have a lot to do there, but I'll explain when we get there what's up. This is a stupid idea. You see, uh, I don't think I could play DBZ. I don't exactly have the uh, the ties that most people do with their childhood watching the show or whatever. Not my thing. But I have heard that the uh, attendance out in ARG is pretty crazy. Um, I've heard it's wild. It's a pretty good game from what I've heard. Not exactly the uh, largest turnout today out there at the game room. Normally it's a lot more busy, but uh, I'm assuming it's probably actually most likely because uh, sneak peek is tomorrow. A lot of people don't want to bother coming out here because they'll see him at locals tomorrow. I actually had the intention of coming out here today to sell a, a game console to someone. I had a Wii U that I was going to sell a, a close friend. Uh, you guys might have heard of him before. Uh, hopefully we'll catch him next week though. Uh, but really I don't have a reason to come out here though. Just hang out besides. A lot of the players here actually don't even go to locals, don't even go to AU. They just kind of hang out, play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, that are a part of the uh, temple group or the, uh, the people that are just on campus here. Although they're not the greatest players, uh, I think it is something, it's pretty cool to see people just having fun with the game. I think that's something that we forget most of the time. We really play Yu-Gi-Oh! just to have uh, fun. I think that's just something to remember is to enjoy the game. That's something that I hadn't been doing for the longest time. I hadn't been actually playing or enjoying the game, just talking about it. And while I do love talking about the game, uh, not playing it kind of hurts how much you love playing the game as much. So uh, I want to make that change. As far as it goes before though, I did bring up that um, I want to do hand reviews or some sort with the dueling book or live. I'd rather keep it live though. So that's going to be a special type thing when it happens. That's when I go to a tournament or something like that, I think is the most likely time that I'll do that. Up until then though, I do think I'm going to start streaming more to just start playing the game more often. Hopefully get more of a feel for it. I've uh, been wanting to do that, but that's all I got for the uh, vlog today. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Again, audio. It's probably really shitty with this, but uh, it'll be fixed as soon as I get that new audio recording device. Sneak peek is up in the air, whether or not I got did get a tip on how to make it there through public transportation tomorrow. It's just a matter if I want to get up uh, as early as he said it was going to start. So uh, if I go, you'll see it. If not, You'll see it. That being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Nim Nim, signing out.